Next question, Mahadai River Dispute. The river di uh, dispute is in another important area. You have to study nothing else do. You have to study every uh, river and uh, what all states it's flowing that uh, river dispute area. And another thing, here first statement, river Mahadai originates from the Bingad wildlife sanctuary of Karnataka and flows into the Bay of Bengal. Actually, Mahadai is a river in Goa. If you, uh, main river in Goa, if you have ever went to Goa, it's a very easy question. Because uh, Go, uh, Mahadai is the main river in Goa, so, uh, if uh, that flows in there, since it is a very small state, most probably it flows to Arabian Sea, not Bay of Bengal. Oh, this much distance, too much for a small river. If you know, if you went to Goa, you can use that elimination technique to eliminate first statement. But if you don't know that, you can else go for another logic, like another logic that you all are familiar with that east flowing rivers, right? It's very important. Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, very important. You have to study every right bank and left bank tributaries. So have you ever heard of this? Mahadai river, you have studied its uh, tributaries and all. If, actually, you have to study, but usually we used to revise, especially every one of you used to study the main east flowing rivers, right? So, if you have never noticed it, this type Mahadai river there, right? You can use same logic here to eliminate the first statement. It will be going to the Arabian Sea. Usually, Arabian Sea rivers are less important, right, compared to uh, east flowing. So. Uh, that can be used here. Then second statement is completely a factual one. But since it's completely new terms, new names, you can assume that true statement may be a tributary of. Next one. Um, actually, all other statements are very factual statements. You have to study nothing else too. After eliminating one, you will be reaching to 50-50. Take that risk. Again, you can go for remaining all of the above, 2, 3, 4. If you can eliminate the first statement, for the 50-50 question, go for all of the above. Okay? <laughs> Next question. Um, coffee club. Another factual thing. Again, United Nations, every corner, everything is important about UN, especially when it comes India in that scenario. Here, look, just re if, you, if you know that coffee club, this question is very easy question. Otherwise, you can do the only one thing that just read the first statement India is a permanent member of the group. If you don't know, just keep it there. Generally, it's a movement that developed in the 1990s in opposition to the possible expansion of permanent seats in the UNSC. We all know that India is demanding a permanent seat in UNSC, right? So, these two statements never come together right, okay? That's the only logic we can use here. These two never come together right. That's the only logic. Then, otherwise, you have to know this. We are in G4 club. We are in G4 and coffee club is opposing the uh, demand of that G4. Okay? That study about such groupings and all. In, mainly in which, and study everything means uh, new, such organization, SEO, BIMSTEC, all such organization, its members, names, everything. UPSC used to ask that. And its geography, who are our neighbors, in which India is a member, in which Pakistan is member, study everything, G20, uh, G4, next quad, everything you have to study. Uh, just make a note on that. And also study about its history. If India is a member, uh, definitely you need to study its history too. Who are the founding members, when it started. Definitely you have to study, revise again and again. You can use it in mains too. So, nothing to worry, just go for next question. You got it? I think first statement is incorrect, second statement is correct. Yeah. Why again again you are asking for answer? I have already discussed, now I are confused. Two only, second statement is correct, I have already talked there. Okay, na? actually this is my first class in English. So maybe little bit pro problems will be there, just adjust. <laughs> okay? Next question. Which question? Next. Consider the following pairs of uh, next important question. Places, volcanoes, UPSC's favorite area. 
make a note from the uh, newspaper. If you read next question, in this question, I think if you know this, any any pair? Yeah, fourth one. I think first one is also famous, very famous. Ah, oh, so uh, here the only logic we can use is that this is in Ukraine. You knew. Then um, this one is in Italy actually. If you don't know that, here it is named as Ukraine, right? Most probably they will be interchanging these two and four. Most probably, you, if you can take the risk, go for that. Otherwise, skip that. Because this, uh, since this is this type of only pair, two pair question, either go for that risk. Two and four will be most probably interchanged. So, two and four, only two pairs, three pairs, uh, the only remaining answer will be A, A or B, right? If you know that this is a correct, uh, this is a correct one, go for two pairs, otherwise one pair. Actually, the answer is B, two pairs, that is a correct statement. Okay? 50-50 question, you must answer it to make it 80. If you, if you are lucky, it will get correct, okay? Next. Next, next one is Polavaram project, right? Ah, next Polavaram project is very important. If you know that it's in Godavari, not Krishna, it's a easy question. If you know, I think very easy question. If anything to discuss, uh, for such cases, I think again, Papikonda National Park, previous year or 2020, uh, previous year question. So, study such everything, such projects the reverse uh, flowing for that, which all states are sharing, which all states have the dispute, all such things you have to study and national park and all, everything. When you read a newspaper, just use your Google too. Otherwise, oh, no, no otherwise, you have to. Okay. Answer is one can be eliminated, two, three. It's in Godavari. Okay. Next one, did the river originates from Madla Hills? <sighs> this question, read that very new question. Actually, it's a completely current affairs question. If you know, have read that news, it's an easy question. Uh, uh, knew that question? New. Actually, the answer is Machu River C. Uh, the news was a suspension bridge collapsed in that river in Gujarat. That was the news. If you don't know, you can go uh, skip that question. Ah, I already told you that uh, to make a column, approach column, you can make a column for uh, skipped answers. Okay, skip the question. You can handle that. Then if you have skipped more than 20 or 30 questions, you feel that, oh, this is too much. Then try to reduce that skipped question number. That's how uh, such analysis will help you. How to improve this area, this area. It will be uh, very helpful. Do that. So make a column for skipped questions too. If you know the answer, go for this. I don't think that any logic for this. I don't have anything. Just study that. Study such new rivers, not uh, uh, not much famous rivers. Study such things in fit games in newspaper and all. In which state it's uh, flowing and all. Okay. Next question. Sugar industry in India. Okay. And actually, uh, you must study uh, uh, budget and economics. Are you okay? Uh, you, you, you must make note for that. It will be helpful for your mains to data. Sugar industry here. I think the third statement, look at that, whether it's true or false. True. Even if you don't know about anything, you look that it's a very positive thing, right? Sustained ethanol blending. Then go for it as correct statement. The next two statements are actually factual statement. If you know that cotton is at the topmost, you can easily eliminate a first statement. Sugar cane is uh, second position, I think. Cotton is the first position. Here, actually, nowadays, there is a shift from north to peninsular India, this sugar cane industry. That's it is, it is in the shifting stage. So here, the answer is actually tropical sugar cane region are that Maharashtra, Karnataka, that area. So. It's a factual thing. Study about everything about sugarcane. Study about FRP. Okay, FRP, that also. Study about not just sugarcane, all main crops, their uh, need for cultivation, all temperature, all such things. Study such everything. I think 
9th or 10th NCRT is giving, geography NCRT is giving such important crops details. Okay, just uh, go for uh, through that NCRT too. Here the answer is I think 3 only, see. Next one, consider the following statement with respect to Galapagos Islands. Again, important islands. So, Galapagos is actually very famous, Darwin's uh, evolution theory, very famous island, very interesting island actually. So, here uh, the answer is uh, both, I think, both statements are correct. You need to study such islands, especially this is in Pacific Ocean, anyway Galapagos is important, so you have to study. In Indian Ocean too, there are a lot of islands near that uh, African area. You need, to, uh, you need to study their geographic and location too, which country it's, uh, it's the neighbor, in which countries uh, belongs there and other things are, it's north to south position, east to west position, UPC may ask that. So, and uh, north to south position uh, means from according to India which position, so study such important islands in African area, nearby African. East African area, a lot of uh, archipelagos, islands are there. So, study all such things. You can't skip, okay. Especially India have a lot of friendly uh, projects and all, uh, in these islands and all. Study that too. It will be uh, helpful for your IR mains answers too, IR questions. <coughs> 